with Ranko Beric in London. He's Head of Market Analysis at Manex Europe. Good to have you back on, Ranko. Explain to us, why are we seeing so much excitement after Donald Trump hit, hinted that he, he might extend that trade deal deadline? So I think it's a bit of an extension of a trend that we've been really seeing uh, since the start of the year. We've seen risk assets, uh, emerging market currencies, kind of slowly begin to price out the prospect of a truly catastrophic trade war. Now, of course, um, what we have seen from the Trump administration is actually a pattern of backing away from these fights um, that are not really fights they have the upper hand in. Um, we saw that in negotiations on the government shutdown um, with the Democrats. We saw it in NAFTA renegotiations, and sure enough, now, um, after the initial round of tariffs, particularly, you know, U.S. soy exports. Um, the administration is kind of looking at, the, at China, realizing the fact that they do actually have the power to punch back and, realize, and realizing that um, negotiations probably, negotiations and bluster are a better way forward than imposing tariffs and hoping for the best. Mm, interesting. We are getting to the pointy end of those trade negotiations. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is expected in Beijing uh, shortly. Uh, how are investors feeling more broadly about the prospect of, of that trade war ending? So it's a risk. Um, it's as simple as that. You have to um, put it in the pricing of all risk assets, um, even though at the moment the base case is looking like um, you know, if tariffs are reimposed, they'll be back off again after a couple of months. Uh, the uncertainty has an effect. Um, and I think at the moment that's basically um, what uh, risk assets are, tra are trading off, you know, equities, so on and so forth. It's just the risk that um, there is a nasty outcome at the end of all of this because, of course, um, if there is an escalation, if the tariffs go back on at the beginning of March, um, potentially, if you know, the worst case scenario is a further escalation in the tariffs, um, you will see an inflationary effect um, in the US economy eventually. You'll see uh, bigger drags on global growth. And even though it's looking unlikely at the moment, uh, the uncertainty has to come into the price. Okay, Ranko Berich in London, thank you as always for your analysis. Now to other top stories from around the world. Two lawyers defending